Hey dudes, uh, your fancy calculator can do a lot of things. Uh, has a lot of junk on it, like maybe you have this puzzle pack, wee! Um, but it can also do useful things like solving systems of equations that you don't want to solve. Maybe they're like three unknowns and three equations. Um, you can do that by hand, obviously, but it's awful, or f up, up to whatever. Um, maybe not worth your time with two by two, but uh, this is um, a way to do it on your calculator. I'm going to give you a, an example that's from one of our uh, work, our review problem sets. Um, this is from the weekly review. I think it's number four. It's out of its functions. We put the fun in functions. Um, and it came up like this. And this is a nice organic way. This is on a calculator paper question, and so I think that this is fair game to use on your calculator uh, using Polysimult 2. It's an app on your calculator. I'll show you where to find that. It's in apps, um, and it's one of three that is allowed on the calculator, and, and you can solve this sort of thing with a calculator. Uh, so I want to show you what that would look like. All right, so let me get my face out of the way. Um, you probably run through this question already. This says this is this line, right? That's fine. Um, and they also tell you a couple of points. This point, negative 2, negative 8 is A. And just for fun, I'm going to label that with an X and a Y. Uh, B is 1, 2. Oh, sorry, 1, negative 2. All right, and that's an X and a Y. And C is 2, 0. And labeled that with an X and a Y. Um, so it says find three linear equations. Well, I know that this is our original equation. And I can get certain Y values out. Certain Y values out. Um, if I put certain X values in. So I get one equation from this. Uh, maybe I'll put it in purple so it matches my worked solutions on the VLE. Check them out. Um, so let's make an equation out of this. It says I should get out this y value, negative 8, if I put in this x value into all the x's. So you'd say p, I don't know what p is, Time I put in negative 2 over oh, cubing it, right? And also uh, q times that same x value, oh, but we're squaring it this time, right, with the squared there and r, don't know what r is, but I put in negative 2 into all the x's, right? And so there's one equation. We play the same game with uh, this next equation. I'm putting, I get out this y value of negative 2 uh, when we put in, I don't know what p is, but I put 1 in and cube it, and I put 1 in and square it, and I put 1 in and leave it. And we play the same game with this last one, right? I get zero out when I da, 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 da. cubed. Sorry, writing with a mouse, never most efficient. All right, so it should look like that. Three equations, three unknowns. Um, if we simplify this, so I think this would be. F I think you'd probably get most of the points for that. You'd probably you should square the or cube these and clean those up. And I think they'd most like to see this. I'm going to put this on the other side and do P's, Q's, and R's. So this becomes negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So this is negative 8P. Uh, this becomes 4R minus 2. Oh, sorry. Minus 4Q. Why didn't you say something? Come on. Uh, minus 2Q, minus 2R. And that should equal negative 8. I'm just rearranging it so it looks pretty. And so it fits with our calculator uh, piece. If you've already done this and just want to see how to do the calculator piece, fast forward me. But you've already probably done that. This cleans up to 1p plus 1q plus 1r it equals negative 2. And the last one cleans up to uh, what 8p plus 4q plus 2r equals 0. You could totally solve this by crunching two of these together, solving for r, and like isolating one of these so you only have two, two variables, 
and plugging them into one of them and then you, you can do this by hand. It's just super slow and on the calculator paper, speed is an issue. Um, so what we're gonna do is take this and use polysimult to solve the system of three equations and three unknowns. So let's look at how that works. Grab your trusty calculator and here in apps, you have a whole bunch of stuff probably. There's only three that we can use. Well, there's only three that we can use and that's finance, uh, easy data, yeah, not even on here. Easy data, finance, easy data, and polysimal two. The rest of it has to go before the big test, and I can help you do that. It's actually on another video already. But go down to polysimal, hit enter. Ping, ping, ping. It says blah blah blah. Right. We it might look a little different than yours, but number two is a, po a simultaneous equation solver, and we want to say enter. Cool. This is how many equations and how many unknowns do we have, and we're going to be using this guy which is three equations and three unknowns. So we say three equations over three unknowns. And then it's got a weird interface. We're gonna to have to use this. We wanna say next, so we have to use this graph button. Just how the programs work. Okay, so here's our three equations. This is uh, A, B, and C, or X1, X2, X3. A, B, and C, or P, Q, and R, or whatever, and this is the equal sign. So like this bar right here is the equal sign. So what we're gonna do is put this purple equation, essentially these coefficients in there. So we're gonna put negative eight, four, negative two, and negative eight into this first line. So negative eight, you can hit enter, it'll just jump over four, negative two, negative eight, and we put this in a matrix. This is just program running a matrix. I don't know why matrices aren't in the SL course anymore, but hey, uh, I'm putting one, 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 and negative two in. There you go. And in the last one, we're putting eight, four, two, and zero. Cool. So now we've put in all those coefficients. We're gonna use, say, solve. So we have to hit this graph again. And it just spits this out for us. One, negative one, negative two. Yeah. And so what that means is that in that order, P is one, Q is negative one, and R is negative two. So this equation becomes F of X equals one X cubed. Uh, plus negative one x squared plus negative two x. Cleaned up, we can call that x cubed minus x squared minus two x. And it should, oops, here, let's undo that. Um, it should work out nicely we, if we say second quit, quit these a bunch of times and throw these into a an equate, uh, uh, graph them if we say x cubed uh, what minus x squared minus 2x and say graph I'm gonna say zoom 6 gives us 10 by 10 by 10 there's our beautiful graph that should be this thing and so all these points should give out these uh, corresponding y values so we can try it by saying calculate value let's try negative 2 oh lo and behold negative 8 let's try 1 Oh, lo and behold, negative two, which is right there. Surprised? You shouldn't be. It's awesome. Thanks, Polysimult. Kiss that TI, uh, and I'll see you later. Bye.